the fun bit. We have now done part one, the investigation. You should hopefully have as many of those 16 marks as you possibly can get. We are moving on to part two, getting ready for September. And the first thing that we would like you to think about is this orange area ready for September. So moving through the slides, you can see this looks a little bit different. This is what we do over summer. You have got all your summer holidays. And what we would like you to think about is to get yourself a mood board. So look at some different images, different design ideas, different pictures, anything to inspire you because we want you to come back to school with three different design ideas. We'd like each one of those design ideas on a separate page, please, either A4 or A3. You need to draw them down. We're going to scan them in. So if you can fine line them even better, uh, add some color on them definitely to make sure that they look good. So here's an example of the mood board. You can see some pictures here that have inspired or that can help you. So you could look at something like biomimicry, which is looking at nature and things that are around there. You could look at architecture or you could look at something that maybe inspires your clients. Maybe you're looking at the art deco again or maybe you're looking at a different design movement, different era, or it's particular colors that your client likes. So try and gather them together, some things that are all in one place that you can look at to help inspire you with your design ideas. You can see here, this student has got much higher marks for their mood board by annotating it as well and explaining some of the things that are on there. So that's always good to do. Design ideas. You could start by a few very initial design ideas if you wish, and just do some thumbnail sketches, and then go on to develop three different design ideas from those thumbnail sketches. Your design ideas need to be annotated. So you can see here is a GCSE example. One of the students did their design ideas for last year. And here are some more. So they're all in a bleak. Well, this one's in a bleak and this one and this one, which means they're looking straight at you. It's not a big problem. It's um, fine if that's how you'd like to do your designs but they all have color on them to show the different materials the different ideas to make their designs stand out this one here is in a little bit more isometric and if you can put your ideas in isometric please do so and this one's definitely in isometric uh, it just looks that little bit more professional remember we're trying to tell that examiner Hey, look at me, I'm the best student you've ever seen. And the more you can fit into the higher grade category, the more that examiner is going to be definitely giving you high grades for your marks. And if there's anything ever in doubt, he'll think, oh, we had some lovely design ideas. No, we certainly need to be in that grade band. So it all just helps give uh, the examiner the impression that you mean business and you want the best marks possible for your designs. So do some design ideas, please. Bring them back with you in September and then you can discuss them with your teacher where you want to go and we can start on developing them and getting them even greater than I'm sure they already will be and making sure that we're going to get you all the marks possible. So try and get ahead and do that. The more you come back with in September to school, the easier 
and the more fun it's going to be. If you come back in September school because you've only started NEA 4 or NEA 5, you're still on the research, you're going to find it really annoying when there's a lot of your friends are actually done their design ideas and they're getting some cardboard out and they're starting to model their ideas and they're doing something a bit more practical where you're still stuck looking at a computer. So please try and use this time to get yourself ahead. We can't go anywhere very much, so you may as well have a go with your pen and pencils and create some lovely ideas. The big marks in design ideas come in your annotation. So you need to make sure that you have got words written next to your designs. You need to make sure that the words are saying something about the user's needs, that the words are saying something about those specification points that you've written down, that you've got materials in those annotations on every single design explaining what you're going to make them out of. So be it, it wood, metal or polymer, but be specific. So if it's a wood, say what type of wood it is. So pine, oak, whatever it is that you're fancying making it out of. It doesn't mean to say that you've got to make it out of that at the moment. They're just ideas. They're not a final idea. So put things down. You also need to show off what you know. So how are you going to make that idea? So what processes could you use? Could you drill things? Uh, could you use things on the jigsaw? Could you use the brazing half? Could you use the laser cutter? Could you use the vacuum former? So what do you know? How can you put things together? What different joints do you know? Show it off all the things that you've learned so far and put them on your design ideas. This is here to show the examiner exactly how clever and how good you are at this subject. It's your chance to show off. You can't do that as well in an examination, so it's a perfect opportunity. Get everything down as much as you can. Some more examples here for different design ideas. What's nice about this design is it goes into depth on a few different areas and this and this is what will get you the top marks as well if you do little sections or little areas showing maybe the different joints that you're going to put in here um, this is looking at it from looking at it from the top this is looking at it from the side so little extra drawings on how little bits will work maybe open up fixed together will get you those top marks too okay as usual, the checklist. This is what we're going to be checking for your design ideas. So some of the things that you could look through that will help you when you do each one of your designs. Remember, the more you come back with in September, the better head start you have, the better chance that you're going to get in those top grade boundaries. So you've got everything to play for and you've got loads of time and opportunity to do that in. And you should have your clients at home to help you give you ideas. So show people, don't be shy of what you've got and what you've done. Okay, have a very, very lovely summer holiday. And I look forward to seeing all of you in September. <laughs>